Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So looking at the US there, we had a big reversal last night as uh, Janet Yellen came out with a Fed statement that removed the word patience and uh, give hints that there'd be a lower trajectory of higher interest rates in the future with most traders now penciling in a September rate hike rather than June based on the rhetoric used. Uh, global equity markets uh, spiked up, uh, the dollar massively reversed only then to uh, kind of go back half the distance that I had reversed. We'll have a look at that on GBP, USD and Euro dollar in a second. Uh, but most global equity markets cheering yeah, that data. US 30 obviously higher, Germany 30 a little bit higher, UK 100, everything else all doing relatively well. So potential resistance at 18,112 uh, upcoming on the US 30, followed by the tip right here on Monday around about 18,278. So moving quickly on to the UK 100, which um, a couple of our clients have asked us to spend a little bit more time on. Very strong candle yesterday, hit an all-time high ever in its history before dropping off just before the close, below potential resistance at 69.64. We've not had a follow-through today, but we have been lower, we have been that little bit higher. We need to get a close above that level to have a springboard to move that little bit higher. You know what, we're trying to get above 7,000 right here. The actual high that we reached yesterday we just have a look at that, uh, was 69.94. So just a, a short stone throw away from that psychological 7,000 level, um, and certainly an all-time ever um, on the UK 100. Moving on to the Japan 225, um, it's been a little bit more volatile last couple of sessions in positive territory right now. It was higher yesterday as well, uh, again putting that into context, almost halfway towards our next potential uh, resistance at 28.68 uh, and miles away from the next potential support at 18.648. So moving on to dollar yen. Uh, dollar yen obviously reversed big time following the Fed statement. Mo most traders were thinking that we were going to be looking at a June rate hike, uh, but now almost all the commentators are thinking now that it's going to be September. Bond yields especially are pointing to that direction. Um, so it came off quite negatively, didn't it hit quite as low as 119, but reversed most of the way. You know, it's not quite halfway back, but it managed to reverse a lot of the way back. And um, the dollar is kind of surging back, um, having had such a, a strong reversal as a lot of uh, kind of dollar longs exited their positions in the short term. So we're in the middle of two ranges right now, 121.87 is still an exponential resistance. Nevertheless, if it does come in September rather than June, the interest rate differential between uh, these countries is, is still going to be relatively wide. So it's just the timing that makes a big difference. Crude had a bit of reversal yesterday. Uh, crude oil inventories were in record levels as ever. Uh, it dipped down and it moved back up again. It'll probably be back down below 43.29 uh, over the next couple of days anyway. So um, we're at the bottom of today's range already. Um, I almost reached $42 yesterday. I wouldn't be massively surprised if it gets down to 42 again at some point soon. So moving on to gold uh, then, obviously gold had a massive reversal uh, yesterday following the, um, the Fed statement. Um, we've tried to move higher again today, which would coincide with the 21 period SMA, only to get pushed back down again. So from all the technical signals, we've got a crossover in the MACD, we've got a cross on the um, RSI and still stochastic is just about to cross over its 20% level. Um, however, we haven't followed through today, and that's uh, that's a little bit a little bit strange when you consider um, the news that came out from um, from the Fed statement last night. But the dollar is doing some wild swings right now, so maybe people are again just positioning themselves for. Um, for that Fed rate hike whenever it is due to come. So moving on to your dollar, you can see that huge massive spike all the way up to almost hit uh, 111 almost, uh, only to get pushed right back down and drop again this morning. Um, so it probably doesn't look that, that that likely this rally is going, that that sudden spike is going to fall through with anything meaningful. We'll probably be back to where we started at some point soon. And same with cable. Um, cable had a had a huge spike. Uh, went all the way to 151.85 last night, which also would have hit the 21 and 55 period SMA, only to reverse, dropping half the distance again, and has dropped again this morning uh, as we hit 148.13, which we talked about a, a number of times in, in these sessions. Uh, any dip below that, and we'll be very quickly back to where we started. So economic data wise today, we've got unemployment claims, we've got the Philly Fed um, data due at two, and then fast forwarding on to Friday, you've got um, PPI data from Germany, 
public finance data from the UK. And then literally, I think you actually have to go into next week. Uh, Monday brings you existing, existing home sales and uh, more uh, CPI, more inflation data from the Eurozone. Um, so I think we've had a whole host of our biggest bits of data last night with FOMC. And it'll be interesting to see where the FX markets and the dollar goes from here, um, considering the huge volatility and the very quick reversals that those uh, spikes higher have been hit by. Um, if it's really just been more than just a little bump in the road for the dollar and that that dollar trend is here to stay. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart for make insights part of your layer going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.